Hi, this is Joe from Brain Buffet. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a new sequence that matches your video clips. I'm using an example from my Brain Buffet course on Premiere Pro, which I created to prepare students for their Adobe Certified Associate exam. Okay, now let's do this together, step by step. So I'm going to get rid of my sequence and the easiest way to just go backwards is to undo. The keyboard shortcut for undo is control Z. It's probably the most important keyboard shortcut I'm ever gonna teach you because it's gonna be in every application you ever use. So control or command on a Mac and then Z. I'm just gonna do that a couple times. Let me make sure I'm back here in Premiere. Boom, there we go. And my sequence is now gone, as you can see. There's a couple different ways to start a new sequence. As I showed you, you can um, double click on the clip that you wanna trim and uh, go ahead and do that. Double click on, let's all double click on the falls wide shot or WS. Come in here and we'll we'll just all do the same thing. So click on the playhead position, type in 200, that's 200, set the end point, and you can either use the keyboard shortcut I to mark the in or hit the in button. Let's go to three seconds. Actually, let's go to um, four seconds and 29 frames, 429, hit enter, and then set the out point, and that'll make us a three second um, clip. Excellent, alrighty. And then let's talk about how to make a new sequence. So you know you can drag and drop right here. Another way to do it is to simply right click on a clip here in your project bin. And it's a little hard for you to see because it's going out of the other end. So let's go up here to file and new and it's sequence from clip. So whatever clip is selected, it'll suck up the properties for that and boom, put it in there. So I'm gonna go new sequence from clip and you can see it made a new sequence and it automatically put it there on track one, video track one and audio track one. So again, you can either drag and drop or you can right click and new clip, or you can go to file and new clip. The first thing you should do though, is immediately, immediately rename it. So let's come here and you can either right click on this clip and choose rename, or you can click right on the text and it'll highlight it. You don't have to hit the delete button when you've got highlighted text, just start typing. So let's call this com promo sequence. And I'm just abbreviating all of those three words. All right, you could tell it's a sequence because it has this little icon right here. It looks like the current time indicator here and the little blue lines going horizontally are the tracks, the video tracks and the audio tracks. That's the um, symbol for a sequence, yeah. And just like with the, the video clips, and the audio clips, it's important to keep these organized. So let's create a new bin. So we click on this button to create a new bin, or check this out, you can drag and drop this right on top of that and it'll automatically put it into that bin. That's pretty cool, I love that. So I'm gonna call the sequence sequences. Excellent, so my sequence, is now inside my sequences bin. So if I double click on it, there it is. I can tell it's a sequence because I left at the end, I put in SEQ. So that's a good tip for you. Um, and by organizing it into a sequences bin, it's not gonna get confused with my video clips. So that's, that's another super important one. We're gonna do this a couple times. Well, one for each of the projects that we do. So you'll get plenty of practice. Hi everyone, thanks for watching. Click the link in the description below to explore more free online professional development and click the link on screen to subscribe to the channel for more videos.